<clears throat> All right, in this video we're going to talk about Carcano rifles and uh, I've gotten a lot of emails. Uh, people cannot get ammunition for these rifles. Now, the Carcano as a military surplus collector's item or just uh, something to go out and casually shoot has a couple drawbacks and I'll go over that. But what I've been hearing, and I'm getting emails where people are asking me what caliber or how can I rechamber this uh, to shoot something else because I cannot find the ammunition. All right, and also sporterizing one of these guns uh, is not, it's not really practical to rechamber, rebarrel, or anything else um, and also when I had my live chat uh, some people when we were discussing the Carcano there were some people saying hey uh, people are dumping these guns they're getting rid of these guns they don't want them uh, a lot of the people selling them cannot sell what they have left in their inventory uh, because people can't get ammo for them and they don't want them. So now the, the Carcano is becoming kind of unpopular. Well, uh, let's address this, okay? When it comes to rechambering or changing this gun around, there's a couple basic drawbacks here. Number one, the Italian cartridge is, is unique and is only made for this series of rifles, no other. It uses a different bullet diameter. Standard 6.5 bullet diameter is uh, 264, which this uses a 268 diameter bullet. Which, so rechambering it for another 6 millimeter will not help you out, okay? Because it'll be extremely inaccurate. The bullet won't go in there. Uh, another thing is this. 6.5 by 52 is not a super powerful cartridge to begin with, okay? It's pretty much in the uh, 40,000s in terms of PSI, which were most other guns are up in 55,000 PSI up to the high 50s, like 48 millimeter net. So this action is not really built for a super high pressure cartridge. Plus, where does the 91 come from the designation of this gun? The 91 Carcano. It is from 1891. Okay? Sorry about that. Somebody's revving an engine up outside. Okay, 1891. In 1891, this was a fairly decent design. It was kind of cutting edge technology and you know at that time this rifle served a purpose and was great but within 10 years uh, the development of firearms uh, rapidly eclipsed this gun both in the receiver and bolt setup the magazine system which has to use sheet metal clips and that to as compared to internal flush mounted magazines that you could use a stripper clip. Um, so there are a bunch of design shortcomings because of the older design. Okay. And I guess this ain't gonna go away. And the fact that this weapon really was never upgraded, okay? It used a kind of low pressure cartridge in a small lightweight action. For how it was designed for all its intents and purposes was a pretty good idea back in 1891. What happens is by the time this ends up on the surplus market in the 40s, guns have extremely changed to an extreme level, design and everything. Um, so this is way outmoded. This, in the 1920s, this was an obsolete thing. Now, the reason it hung around and the reason we have it is because the Italians, because of political 
and economic reasons just kept recycling these guns. Okay, so they took their guns that had worn out barrels in it and they reused them, they reused the stocks, they did everything. And there are several other countries that have done that, have taken an older 1890s long rifle and shortened them into carbines. That's what the, uh, they did in the Netherlands, okay? Actually, the Netherlands kept their black powder guns in service until World War II in the colonies in far-flung areas. So, you know, not every country kept on the edge of military hardware. So. The problem with the Carcano is rechambering it is, is not feasible. Rebarreling it probably could be done, but now you have to find a cartridge that fits that bolt without modifying the bolt. Um, you know, depending on how much time, money, or effort you want to put into it, you can convert anything into anything you want. But you're talking about a $250 retail gun, you know, so it makes no sense to put three, $400 worth of work into it to make it into something else. So, you know, what I want to state in this video, and I mean, I got a lot of people telling me this, you know, oh, well, you know, I want to rechamber it, what are your ideas on it and everything else. Um, Basically, that last statement, that's what it is. Just leave the thing alone. And if you can't find ammo, another thing. We're in the middle of the worst ammunition crisis that anyone has seen in the past 30 years. Okay? Never seen a shortage or nothing like that. Everything is unstable. The government is unstable. Nobody knows what's going to happen next. Um... And they're talking that it could be a year or so before anything even starts to come close to normal. And that's a maybe. And that's what makes people panic even more. Okay? The thing is, there is a company that makes ammunition for this gun in Serbia, PPU. Okay? The only thing is, even this ammo. Which, and the reason you won't find it on the shelves is people didn't ask for it that much. So it's difficult to find, okay? So if you're going to a store to look for it, that ain't the way you do it. You go online, and there was plenty of it around from the several different online retailers, and you could buy this ammunition fairly easily online and have it delivered to you. Now, I know some states it can't be done or whatever, but... In general, if I needed some military ammo, I would go order it online, get it shipped to the house. Be it 6.5 Carcano or the Argentine round or whatever. Okay, so it's not that hard to find if you buy it online. If you go to an actual shop, gun shop or something, depending on who's running the shop, what they stock in there, you are not going to find this ammo but it is available. You just might have to change your venue of purchasing it. Now, the reason you cannot find any ammunition anywhere is because with the ammunition crisis it has actually gotten to the point where these odd calibers like the 6.5 Carcanos, 6.5 Japanese, and another one, 7.7 .7 Japanese, and all of these old obsolete military calibers that if you had a thousand rounds, it would take you about eight years to sell it. Okay? Now, in the midst of this panic, everyone's buying anything and everything, irregardless of the caliber. Okay? There are no, there are very few calibers that you can find in stock at a reasonable price. You can still get a lot of 9mm .223 at a slightly inflated or greatly inflated price. You can get 6.5 Carcano, which, let's say, off-the-shelf factory stuff with the small bullet, $20, $22 a box was the norm. Okay, that same ammunition now is selling for $60 to $80 a box online, okay, which... Don't buy it at that price. Okay? I would have 
been able to make more of it available to my subscribers, but I am out of powder. If I can find powder, I may be able to get some done at a price a lot less than $60 a box. Okay. So, my advice to you, don't panic. Hang on to the gun. And see, what I really don't understand is why don't you just be patient and wait for the crisis to end? You've acquired the gun. And, you know, eventually once the supply dries up, the value will go up. Okay, you don't have to shoot it right this damn minute. If you can't find the ammo, clean the gun, oil it, put it up. And if you got to wait until sometime next year for you can get a box of ammo, all right, take a deep breath and be patient. You know, just saying, oh, I can't get ammo for it, so I'm going to sell the damn thing, or it's not worth it, or I'm going to go and rechamber, rebarrel it. That's, that's not... It's not a good idea. I, I understand why you think that, but uh, number one, it's not a feasible idea, and there's really no reason to do that, okay? If that really upsets you to the point where you can't get out and shoot this gun or try it and you can't wait, um, well, it's not so much to Carcano, it's just about any gun you buy, okay? Unless you already have ammunition, and then buy the gun, okay, uh, you're going to run into the same problem. So, that's my take on it. My message is, relax, hang on. They, they are a collectible item. I mean, the market's flooded now, but give it a few years. You know, Don't panic. Don't go converting it or, or damaging the gun or changing it. Just wait. Ammunition will become available, you know. Maybe not soon, but eventually it will, okay?